watching Afternoon Live. I'm Simon McCoy. Today at three, a new crackdown on high interest lending, but consumer groups say the proposals aren't tough enough. We owe it to the more vulnerable members of society to frankly ensure that they get credit on better terms because they need it you know, to buy essential goods and spread the cost. An Islamic State supporter who called for jihadis to attack Prince George admits a string of terrorism offences. President Trump says talks with North Korea in New York have been very positive and he's expecting to receive a letter from Kim Jong-un tomorrow. And coming up on Afternoon Live, we've got all the sport with John Watson, Zinedine Zidout. Uh, yes, yes, he's gone just five days after leading Real Madrid to another European title. He quits as manager of Real Madrid. John, talk to you later on and also coming up here on Afternoon Live, got all the weather and Phil Avery has that. Hello, Simon. The Met Office have issued an amber warning for thunderstorms widely across southern parts of England and South Wales. I'll have all the details on those which are likely to rumble on through the rest of the day and indeed overnight in just a few minutes. Phil Avery, thank you. Uh, also coming up, the number two seed at the French Open wins his match, uh, but he's defeated by a Yorkshire accent. You clearly enjoy your tennis. You say you don't Not know. Not as much as your accent, buddy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Afternoon Live. I'm Simon McCoy. Britain's financial watchdog has announced a crackdown on companies which offer loans with high interest rates. The Financial Conduct Authority wants a 